Hi, this is Jacqueline T.D. Huynh, and welcome to my day 18 of my Facebook Live uh, post regarding Harmonious Family and bringing more harmony to your family. I am the owner of Integrative Minds, where we help you become the leader that your family wants to follow. <clears throat> I started... Uh, actually a four segment, right? Um, we talked about the four parent behaviors to avoid and we are on part three, the third one of the four. So you, if you didn't see um, one and two, go back and take a look at it. It's uh, some great tips and I've got some really great comments from it. Uh, so do you want to be able to influence your children? Hi, Lisa. Do you want to be able to guide them throughout their childhood? Uh, what's the secret to being able to do these two things, right? It's, uh, it's having a healthy, connected relationship with our children. Now, when I talk about our children, but really, it's really having that healthy, connected relationship with anybody in our life, right, that we care about, that we want to be able to influence them and guide them and that they uh, respect us and trust us. But for today's sake, I'm gonna talk about the kids. So I got these four behaviors from Dr. John Gottman. He is a world-renowned relationship expert. So uh, I'm kind of borrowing it from him, but I just love it. He calls it the four horsemen um, because they are that dark horseman that we should try to avoid. and. He's found through his years of research that these four behaviors are the ones that we should avoid if we want to have a strong, healthy relationship. And when you know about it, understand it, you can understand more of the pitfalls and the antidotes so that we can build this amazing relationship with our children and our family member, um, especially uh, in those precious years when they're at home, right? Because when we can do this in those years before they leave for college, you know that you're leaving them in a, in, in giving them the space and the place that they can actually become an amazing adult in their college life, in their work life. So today we're gonna to talk about the number three behavior that parents should avoid, and it's called defensiveness. So defensiveness, as Dr. Gottman describes it, is really a reaction against feeling personally attacked or, you, or someone can just play the victim. So when it comes to a parent-child relationship, the parent may feel defensive when they realize that they were actually in the wrong. Or when a child points out the parent's flaws and maybe criticizes the parent. You know, um, I always think of electronics uh, because, you know, we tell our children to get off electronics. And yet, you know, we're, our phone is in our hand. We're on the phone. We're checking our emails. We're checking our Facebook. And I can only imagine if we're telling them to get off, I, you know, someone's, someone, someone's child is going to say, well, what about you? Right, and so what you want to do in that instance um, is instead instead of uh, defending yourself, you own up to your flaws, a parent, and you basically say you don't say. The, let me put it this way: usually, what will happen in defensiveness is that the parent will say the problem is not me; it's you. So they avoid taking the responsibility and they place the blame on the child. So an example of this would be like, well, I wouldn't have yelled at you if you have done what I told you to do. Do you remember your parents saying this to you? I know my parents said it and a lot of other parents said it. Or how about I, I shouldn't have called you stupid, but you made me so angry, right? That's avoiding the responsibility and then putting it back on the child. Um, you know, in the form when it's kind of like trying, you can say, well, I, I know I told you not to do it, but, you know, I need to check my phone. Right, so the fix is really about accepting responsibility for your part in the problem. And um, I know what I do is I listen and to how the children, my children, are feeling. 
and really understand their position. Why did they say that? What made them feel that way? And if I did call them something, which I can say I haven't done it, but I can see, you know, other parents, and I know I went through a very corporal, corporate uh, type of family where they say, um, you know, how could you be so stupid? Why'd you do that? And so, um, I, you could say something like, I shouldn't have called you stupid or dumb. I'm really sorry. I apologize for yelling and I lost my temper. You didn't do it, right? So you're owning up to what you did. And I think the most important thing here is that it's not just an apology. It's a follow-up that you're not going to do it again. I think so many people use apology as an excuse for what they did. I've been on the receiving end of that where someone just will apologize profusely for the same thing that they're doing and you don't see a change. So I think apology is only half of taking responsibility. The other half is actually you making a recognizable, you doing that change and and having your children, your spouse, your significant other see that you are truly taking responsibility for your action and the apology is that you are sorry and that you are making a change. Um, so that's the number three tip. I hope that this helps you. Um, I love this quote. It says, change can happen in an instant. So you can choose to make that change right now. It's that easy. But you have to take that chance and you have to make that choice. Um, and when you master choice, you master your destiny. Really, think about it. If you're able to choose whatever you want, you can choose your destiny. So um, if you like my video, please like it, please share it. And you can always contact me at info at integrativeminds.com. And I look forward to uh, talking to you tomorrow. I also have a weekly radio show for parents and parenting. If you are an expert with something about parenting, contact me also. Um, the website for the radio show is Parent Pump Radio, and I have all this information in the notes. And um, go back to our website, our show, and listen to some other great experts talk about how to be great parents and what you really need to know about drugs, alcohol, um, your teens, and all these things right now because the show is about bringing the expert in and, and helping you. And so tune into our radio show, parentpumpradio.com. Uh, uh, there's a new show every Wednesday. You can go back and listen to the archive show. And I hope you really enjoy um, the Facebook Live that I've been doing. Thank you so much. And hi, lady. How are you? Um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I'm looking forward to your speech at Toastmaster. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. Please uh, comment, ask questions. I'd love to have some interaction with you. Have a good night.